Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a paracord flogger. It is made similarly to how a whip handle would be made, in the sense that it is made using a plate at the center of the handle, and the top and bottom are decorated with a Turk's head knot. I'm going to leave a link in the description you can use to learn more about the techniques used. This is the flogger live. And as you can see, the top features a steel ring we can use to hang our flogger. Then a herringbone braid is used on the handle. The top is also decorated with a Spanish ring knot. And the other side features a gaucho knot in this case. With that said, let's get to making this flogger. The first thing we're going to do is cut a number of strands we're going to use for the core and we're going to have them and insert a ring at the top. We're then going to wrap our core strands using electric tape or in my case I'm using a, an inner strand of paracord and you will want this wrap to be as tight as possible so the handle will be stiff and round. Once you've wrapped your handle, it will look something like this. To plate, I used a herringbone braid. I'm just going to demonstrate it a bit here. It's basically taking the right cord, then going to the left under 3 over 2, and then doing the same on the other side, taking the top left cord, going under 3 over 2. I will leave a link in the description you can use to learn this braid. After you've plated the handle, it's time to finish the braid by wrapping it with the same technique we used for the handle. And this will secure it so it doesn't come apart. And after you've wrapped the top, you can cut the ends we used for the plate. As you can see here, I've wrapped the top and it is now ready to be decorated with a Turk's head. I used the gaucho knot for the top and you can see that I've also cut the cords used for the plate and the bottom is decorated with a Spanish ring knot. With that done, the flogger is complete. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.